What's up everyone, this is Vava from My Devotees, and in this video we're going to be talking about the best CD tweaks released in the last month, which is going to be April 2012. So, well, let's get started with the first tweak we've got, which is called Swipe Back. Now, Swipe Back is a tweak which basically allows you to go to the parent or the sub-parent menu. Let me just open up the settings app. So, I can just go to the sub-parent or the parent menu by just swiping from the left to the right, just like that, and it works uh, just fine. And it's actually rather more intuitive than pressing the small little button on the top left corner. So that's about Swipe Back. It's been made by Ryan Petrick, which is, uh, or rather who is, uh, a very, very uh, good jailbreak developer. It's available for free on his repo, which is uh, going to be in the description down below. So let's talk about the second tweet we've got, which is called SMS Timestamps. Now I'm going to send myself a text message. So um, I'm just going to write still testing. Uh, how about that so i'm gonna just send it to myself and uh, i got it back so as you can see i've got a timestamp right over there when i started the conversation okay so uh, i'm gonna go to the settings with the sms timestamps now it basically allows you to have a timestamps after a cer certain amount of messages or a certain amount of time so i've set it up to every message so as you can see, I've got a timestamp for the message I sent as well as the message I received. So that's about SMS timestamps. It is a quite cool tweak um, and, you know, it can be useful when you're digging into your old conversation and see what happened, which exact minute and uh, where you made the mistake. <laughs> All right. So now let's talk about Fusion, which is going to be our third tweak in this list. It basically allows you to post something on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, who uses MySpace and uh, Foursquare. So you can uh, post something uh, on all of them and the plugins basically shows you how you set it up. So you have to invoke um, Fusion using an activator command. I've set it up to double tap of the status bar. So let's just, you know, uh, show you some other settings. Now it is also compatible with Siri, but you're gonna have to install assistant extensions for that. And I do not have that. So let's just double tap the status bar just like that. And you get this uh, compose menu right here. So I can, you know, uh, well, let me just actually zoom in a little bit to actually show you what we have right there. So we've got a couple of settings, like we can add the location right there. And then we can also uh, basically, you know, add a photo. Well, we can take a picture straight away or we can add a picture from the library. And then we have our character limit, which is actually just for Twitter. Uh, you don't really have any character limit in Facebook. Um, so that's just for, you know, Twitter. And then you have one option right here and you can select all the social networks you want to post this thing upon. So you can check on all of them or certain of them, you know, the ones you want to do this on. So I'm just going to cancel it for right now. And uh, okay, well, I'll just post something and I'll just show you. That it actually did work so I'm gonna write test and then I'm gonna select uh, Twitter for right now and I'm gonna send it to uh, you know post it up on Twitter so I'm gonna just show you uh, a picture which shows that it was taken on Twitter all right so now let's talk about the next week we've got which is called iCleaner and it basically allows you to clean up all of the you know, system files uh, which have been dumped, like the cache files or the system error files and all of that, which basically do not contribute anything to your device, but rather just cover up space um, in your memory. So I can now, you know, basically just select the type of files I want to clear out and I can press on the done button and it's going to clear everything out. So after the process was done, it told me that uh, around about 300 megabytes of uh, memory space was cleared out after deleting all of this uh, stuff which is uh, quite a lot and it this tweak can be quite useful and uh, you know that's about it it's free okay so now let's talk about the next tweak we've got which is called stride so as you can see I've got a lock screen like this so I can put a pattern password and let's see what settings we've got in the stride uh, you know tweak Okay, so we've got the enable stride, of course, it's going to enable it. Skip pen entry, it's going to skip your passcode entry, the typical passcode entry where you enter numbers. And multi-shape password, it's going to be a little lenient with, uh, 
interpreting your password and uh, skip sky to unlock is gonna skip you with sliding to uh, unlock you know that's about it so that's about stride it's available for $2.99 and it is uh, quite good I like it uh, better than Android lock XD okay so that's about it thank you very much for watching this video I just really hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you leave a like ring down below and also feel free to subscribe and also make sure you check out our website which is idevotees.com so I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!